we are recording. Hey guys, Kay Souter here. Hi. Ambassador Diamond. So excited to be joined with Kristen. Kristen, you have to pronounce your last name for me. I have been trying. Ink. 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 I get it all the time. Ink, everybody. <laughs> Ambassador Diamond, we have Triple Diamond Laura Balzer on with us tonight, too. Hi, everybody! Per usual, as we come together on Sundays now. I love this. So love it. Uh, Laura is just now flying in from her trip back home to Virginia, and now she's back to Florida. Where she's and extremely going. happy. Extremely happy. <laughs> um, Guys, we are so excited to partner with you all tonight and just to bring you a little bit of everything, really give you love and TLC and bring some juice and some magic. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yep. I need my headset. You tell me because my computer is sometimes funny. No, you're good. Okay. Um, but Kristen and I came together. We said we're going to plug our teams in together, merge everybody. So that's what we did. And we're going to share a little bit about our stories with you and we're going to go into some Q and a. So, um, Kristen, tell everybody who you are. Like we're yeah. excited to have you. This is such a huge honor. You're a rock star. Oh my uh, gosh. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm stoked. Tell everybody your amazing story. Cause I know that you promoted presidential in your first year, which is. Yeah. Yeah. So, Hey everybody. Um, I know for my team who's on, you guys have heard my story probably a million times, but I'm Kristen Ike, and uh, I am from a small town in Iowa, and uh, before I started It Works in 2013, um, I was an esthetician for 10 years. Um, so I was in the skincare industry. Actually, my husband and I owned a spa for quite some time as well. Um, so I was a really big skeptic. I'm going to be really honest. I was a really big skeptic. Um, I saw the before and afters on Facebook and I kind of like giggled at them. I was like, there's no way. And the girl that was posting, Mackenzie Schultz, was actually a client of mine at the spa. And I knew she was a photographer. So I thought for sure she was totally Photoshopping her before and afters. So I was really like, oh my gosh, this is so weird. Like 45 minutes. Like I know everything about skincare. We do wraps in the spa. There's no way. But you guys, I was curious. I also was intrigued by it. I thought, what if? That's crazy. And so I messaged her one day out of the blue. I want to tell you guys, I never liked and I never commented on any of her photos. So when you think people are not liking or commenting, they are watching. I was one of those people. And majority of the people that you ask, majority of the people will tell you I never liked or commented on a thing. So I finally messaged her one day and I said, all right, Mackenzie Schultz, what is this? And all she would say to me is, let me come and wrap you. I was like, no, I don't want to be wrapped. I want to know what it is and how it works. I was one of those. Like, how does it work? What it's in it? And, and tell me how it works in the skin. And she just would say to me, just let me come and wrap you. And I said, I don't want to be wrapped. I just want to know what it is, how it works, and what's in it. And finally, the third time, she said, just let me come and wrap you. So that's really important, you guys, because if she would have never said, let me come and wrap you, I would not be where I am today. So she came over, she put the wrap on me, and I'm like, this is so weird. I didn't drink water. Water. We sat there for 45 minutes and we chatted. And 45 minutes later, you guys, she took the wrap off and started looking down like, yeah, see, it didn't work. But what she did is she put my picture side by side and I was absolutely blown away. Um, I'm a true believer in diet and exercise. So you're going to get those people that say, well, you just have to, you know, eat healthy and, uh, you know, do guys. Well, I've had two C-sections. Let me tell you, no matter how healthy I ate, no matter how many setups I did, it did not improve the elasticity of my skin. It did not improve that little C-section pouch. And so I was blown away after one wrap. And so the next thing Mackenzie said to me, <clears throat> which I tell my team this all the time, she said, she asked me, so you want to continue your treatment, right? Like there wasn't an option. It was like, you want to continue your treatment, right? Well, yeah, like I don't want to whiten my teeth one time and not continue my treatment, right? So same thing with the wrapping. I was like, well, of course I want to get the full effect. And so she said, okay, you can get a box of wraps for $59 as a loyal customer. For $40 more, um, you can become a distributor. I was like, oh, no, not my thing. I'm not a home party person. I don't have time. I, um, I, I just don't really believe in those things. And my husband was on duty that night, and I had just messaged him randomly. I was like, she wants me to be a distributor. And he's like, well, how much is it? I said, it's $99. And he said, you know, Kristen, you go to Target to buy milk. 
and you spend $99. He was <laughs> it. So I signed up to be a distributor, you guys. And um, I didn't do anything for six weeks because remember, it wasn't my thing. I was way too busy. I was never going to wear a shirt. I was never going to listen to a call. I wasn't building a team. I, would never gonna go, I was never going to go to a meeting. Like That's who I was. So in those six weeks of me doing nothing, though, what I did do is I was using the products consistently. And by using the products, my life started changing. I started getting myself back. You know, as a busy mom, we give and we give and we give. And I started getting filled up. I was happier. I was healthier. I had more energy. And the few people that I had told about it, they were also getting good results, including my husband. And I was already making a little extra income. And so I put two and two together, and I was like, we have products that are amazing that everybody wants to look and feel better. We have an amazing compensation plan without me really diving into it. I was already making a little bit of money and how rude of me to rob people. This is my thought. How rude of me to rob people of these amazing products and a compensation plan and an opportunity that could completely change their life. I had six weeks left to go diamond to get the $10,000 bonus at the time. I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I went diamond in those, in those six weeks. I got my $10,000 bonus. And then uh, my enroller told me I needed to go to Seattle boot camp. I was like, whoa, like calm down. Like I'm just getting started. Like I really don't know if I'm really going to do this. And she said, you got to go. And so I spent $400 on an airline ticket. I went with four girls I had never met in my life. I was scared out of my mind. The day before I was like, I just need to cancel. Like I'm not going. Like I'm sick. I was like trying to think of every excuse in the book, like massive diarrhea. I'm throwing up. Like what? <laughs> completely changed my life. Like I called my husband from the bathroom crying and he was scared. He's on the other line in Iowa. I'm in Seattle. I'm like bawling. He's like, what's wrong? I'm like, we're doing this. I can do this. I know we can do this. And from there on out, you guys, I had no fear. I didn't care what anybody else thought, which is very different for me because I like to just go with the flow. I don't like to be like stand out. Like I just want to walk into a room and just blend in. So this was really against the grain for me. Um, and it was, it was, there were some tough moments. There were some moments of, oh my gosh, like my small hometown, I remember um, posting on Facebook and all they would say, like my hometown would write, when I would write about the wraps, they'd say, I want turkey. I want chicken. I, and I was like, ah, and I had to like <laughs> keep going, keep posting. Um, and so, yeah, I went, so that in August I went diamond. And so I was like, all right, by October 31st, I'll go double. And I did it. Like, I didn't even question it. And then I was like, all right, I went double. So let's just go all by February. I'll just go triple diamond. And then I did. I was like, no question. And then by April, I'll be presidential diamond. And in April, um, I needed 26 distributors. We got those 26 distributors, you guys, and my volume wasn't there. And the one thing that I remember hearing is, never give up on your goal, like never give up on your goal, just extend the deadline. So for those of you who have maybe made a goal and you're like, oh, but I didn't make it. Maybe I can't do this. Maybe I'm not worth it. I don't me like understand that every time you make a goal you have to make a goal to have a target and if you don't make that tar target don't give up on the goal just extend the deadline and it's okay it's okay to extend that deadline um but when you push for it so hard you're that much closer so that's what i did is i just pushed really really hard and i knew that getting down to month end like it was going to be really close but if i would have had that goal i wouldn't have gotten presidential diamond the very next month so um it, it, it's absolutely life changing. I got to become a stay at home mom, which has always been my unrealistic dream. Um, my husband working overnights as police officer. He got to go reserve. So he just works kind of now when he wants, um, you know, just when he needs that fill of, of his manly stuff. Otherwise we're at home full time. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my God. I, <laughs> uh, I need copies of those notes since I'm in the car. Never give up on your goal. Just extend the deadline. Like, that's mm -hmm. what gosh. Um, and you go to Target to buy milk and spend $99. $99. That is brilliant. <laughs> that's like the best thing ever because that's everybody, every one of us. Right. Well, I like, are you going to continue your treatments? That's brilliant. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. $99 or 40 more and you can be a distributor. 
You know, and a lot of times too, people, as we're talking about it, a lot of times when people will say to me, well, I tried it one time and it didn't work. I said, you know, that would be like you going to the dentist and them telling you, you need a treatment of four teeth whitening. And if you go one time, you may or may not have visible results, but you're not going to quit. You're going to do what the dentist said. And you're going to go back once a week for four weeks because that's the full treatment. So it's not that it didn't work. You may just not have had complete visible results, but it's just like teeth whitening. It's still working. It's over consistent use that you're going to have those results. Absolutely. I love, I love that. I love that. Customers' minds. I'm like, this is like a sample. This yeah. is yeah. a sample. We got to go. We got to go through the four and then we're going to reevaluate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We may still need four more. And that's yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like my trainer, when I first started working out with her, she said, I need you to give me four months. And then after four months, I need you to give me four more. Yeah. And I went, okay. And then she was right. After four months, I was really excited about my results, but there was still more work. Mm-hmm. And then after eight months, it was like total body transformation. And she was right, you know, but mm-hmm. she prefaced that from the beginning. We have to do that with our customers. So mm-hmm. um, we want to share our stories too, because we want to get to questions. Yeah. So um, guys, Laura is in the car right now. She's <laughs> just flown in from Virginia. She's so excited to share, but um, Laura, you got to tell everybody because you've had such an incredible journey with this company and even just uh, before all that, just, just getting started, hearing about this, this company, hearing about the products, you were also going to own your own spa. You were, yes. And, and then the economy crashed and you pulled out and you said, I'm not doing it. So you've had a, you had an interesting kind of beginning in that regards too, but tell everybody your start. Wow. Well, you know, you guys, it's, I don't know who brought you here today or who um, handed you your initial blitz card or if you saw this on Facebook, but whoever your sponsor is, you know, give them a big applause and, and thank them for their support because I can tell you they are your angel. They, they, you know, you're not here by chance. You're here by choice. And sometimes we don't know anything about that choice until we really get embedded in this incredible company that I know the three of us and many of you that are on the call have just totally fallen in love with. And, You know, my journey with It Works, the first time I was introduced to them was eight years before I even joined. You know, Kay's right. I was getting ready to start a spa, and my partner and I at the time had flown out to L.A., and we were meeting with designers and gathering product, and as we were tacking up and down this event, I see this beautiful blonde woman, and I start going, oh, my God, I know her. I know her. I know her. I know her. And my partner goes... You do not know anybody in L.A. And I'm going, I'm telling you, I know her. So I went up to this woman and I extended my hand and I introduced myself using my maiden name because for sure it couldn't have been for my married life. And when I introduced myself as Laura Apostolo, she got big old eyes on her and she goes, oh my God, I'm Pam Souter. When I was, oh Pam. And you know, one thing led to the other. She goes, you married a Balzer, didn't you? And I said, yes, I did. So, you know, you guys, we started talking. She started sharing about her product. And I'll be honest with you, I thought it was the dumbest thing I had ever seen. Because as a personal trainer, no, no, no. So she goes, you got to let me put it on you. And I said, no, but you can put it on my partner. So she did put it on my partner. And Janelle got amazing results within those first 45 minutes. And I can tell you, we got so animated. But for us... When we came back and we thought, oh, we're going to have that wrap in our spa and it's going to be amazing, the economy started turning on us. And so we ended up shutting down the project. And it's funny how when you get introduced to this company, it just never quite goes away. And so eight years after I shut that project down, I happened to go to Roanoke, Virginia um, for a friend of mine. And as I'm walking through the restaurant to go to this party... Who's sitting in there but Pam Souter and her husband and Kay and another couple. And you guys that have met Pam, you know she has infamous words that she bestows upon many of us. And one of them is, you need to be in my business. And I want you guys to know, I told her that I thought she had lost her mind. But you know what? That didn't deter her. She goes, you know what? I'm going to come to Richmond anyway. And we're going to sit and meet. And then you can tell me how crazy I am. And you guys, from that day, I came home and I talked to my husband. 
not because I needed permission, but because I wanted his opinion. And he said to me, what is the worst thing that can happen? It doesn't work. And you guys, it's $99. And I love it. We do spend $99 going and getting a gallon of milk. And so it was the best decision I ever made. But I tell you, at that time, I didn't realize the economy was going to crash as bad as it did. And when it crashed, we crashed right along with it. And it was a huge saving grace for us. I mean, it came down to whether we were going to put food on the table or not. It came down to whether we were going to keep our kids in college. And so with the help of family, you know, my immediate family, my kids, Tommy and I, and It Works Global, we plowed through. And I, can't, I just think the greatest thing is, is that we did it. And we did it with the help of this company, not just financially, you guys, but spiritually and the people. I could have never asked for better people to support me on a track that I could have never, ever imagined. It is just amazing. I mean, it is something I will never forget and I hold very dear. And I think the people that I've come in contact uh, feel that way that, as well. So here we are. And yes, I just hit the ground from Roanoke. And I think the blessing that I'm reminded of is It Works Global has given me the ability and the freedom to go, oh, I think I want to go see my dad. And so what do I do? I get to jump on a plane. I don't have to worry about cost. I don't have to worry about a boss. I don't have to worry about anything because we've created that freedom because we went to work. And so I just encourage all of you guys to listen to our stories and know whatever your story is, that it's real and it's important. And whatever you want, you just go to work. And you don't think about what other people want and, or, 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 or say or do because they don't pay your bills. You do. And so, Kay, I just feel very blessed. I mean, it's, wow. I mean, I, I couldn't even wait to get on this call. I mean, how many times did I text you and go, I am so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I think that's one of the best places that any of us can be, one of the highest, most incredible levels of awareness in this world is when we just, when we decide that we don't care what others think and we decide that we matter mm -hmm. and that our lives matter and that we even decide that we're going to be a little selfish, yep. a dream life for ourselves and our family. Yep. Um, Cause it really doesn't matter what anybody out here thinks. Um, well, and you know what? It's funny. Cause I used to use the terminology. I used to say, I don't care. And I knew what I meant by that, but I found that others sometimes felt a little, um, that that was abrasive. So you guys, I change it up a little bit. It's not that I don't care. It's that I'm not concerned. That is not a concern of mine, how people are feeling about what I'm doing or how I do it or who I do it with. Right. Because I know this supplies complete freedom on more levels. And I'm not belittling the nine to five because I had one. But it will, it will provide you with more joy yeah. than any 95, 9 to 5 could ever do. I don't care how many promotions you get. It's so much more than that. Mm -hmm. So much more. You know, I remember um, the last job I ever had. I was working at a boutique. For, for my background, you guys, I was uh, in school. When I joined at Works, I was in school to be a retail buyer, fashion buyer. So my degree, I have a, a Bachelor of Arts degree in uh, fashion merchandising. So um, I was always athletic. I had played softball as a dancer. I was fully embedded into my sports as a kid. And um, my mom discovered this product when I was 12. So I grew up with HitWorks, but I was involved in, like I said, sports and my friends and being a teenager. And I didn't really understand what it works was. You know, I knew she tried the product. She used the products. I saw her transformation in her own personal self. Um, but it wasn't until I was a little bit older that I started noticing changes. I started noticing changes in our own family. Things like, you know, we moved into this house in this subdivision um, right behind my high school when I was four. And so we lived there all the way through like my, my early childhood and my teenage years until six years ago. My parents lived there until six years ago. And, um, 
you know, I noticed things like the bathrooms were starting to be renovated and we built this huge deck on the back, you know, and then my mom renovated the kitchen and then started making all these changes in our home and like building beautiful French doors on our office and stuff. And I was like, wow, this, like this, it works thing is working. You know? <laughs> this is cool. So think about like the influence you're um, developing for your families, your kids, uh, you're showing them. Yes. I didn't realize what it was, but you are showing them because I mm -hmm. see it now as an adult. I'm like, wow, you know, mom had a vision and a dream. And I thought she was so weird. Like I thought when she had her dream board in her office that she was such a weirdo. Like I hadn't, you know, it wasn't <laughs> until those things started coming true. You know, she started driving that car and you know, those things started happening. It was so special for me. So that's when I really started to pay attention. Mm -hmm. I would go to wrap parties with her and collect the money, you know, and this was way y'all like what Laura is referring to in eight years prior to her joining is this is like in the beginning stages where my mom was in the field building. Like I think they were like two years in when I ran into her. She was, I think probably there with like Mel McFarland and whoever yep. doing a trade show. Cause she would go like back when we had like, you know, a handful of really strong leadership would go in and like do trade shows with them because that's what she did. And so, you know, I would go work with her in the field as they were developing it and go down to Greensboro, North Carolina and do one, uh, what do you, well, they're not called one teams then, but boot camps and things like that and meetings. And I would go. Um, but when I was in college is when things started shifting for me because I loved the product. I used the products. I grew up on the greens and the confiance that helped me with school. And I was loving, I was into the products, but never saw this as a business opportunity was like, please, I'm good. I don't need it. You're doing your thing. And she always told me I'd be really good at this, but it wasn't until I went to college that my friends started um, getting out of school and graduating and they weren't able to get jobs. And a lot of my friends were getting out of school and moving back to their, our hometown. And I noticed that because they were working at like the local restaurants and the coffee shops. And I'm like, we kind of from a small town, I'm like, <laughs> this, I don't want to do that. You know, like, I don't want to go sleep on mom and dad's couch like this. That's not like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person. But the last job I ever had, I actually got fired. I was getting ready to move to Italy to study abroad. And then my boss knew that I was leaving and she took me off the schedule. And I was planning on moving back to Richmond where I was living. And that was going to be my full-time job. That was going to be my, my money. That was going to be my management position. Like I was all into that, that job, into that store. I was so upset. And I remember calling my mom, just like, what am I going to do? I was saving up this money to go live in Italy. And how am I going to get by? And like, where's, where's my money going to come from? And I was freaking out. And she's like, this happened for a reason. And you mm. may not know the reason yet, but this happened for a big reason, Kay. Still did not pressure me into the business. But what happened was because that happened, I saw an opportunity for myself that I was not going to allow someone else to determine my future. So when I moved to Florence and I lived there for four months, my mom provided my trip for me. That was part of, that was part of my, my journey as, as a college student. She was able to fund our career. And that was something else I paid attention to. Like here she has two kids in college. She's able to provide for us. And so when I was there, I asked her, they came on, um, my parents came over for graduation and they, um, for my last semester and um, my last month there, and they came and visited me with my brother and we were on a train ride from Rome to Sorrento. And she, I said to her, I said, can you just show me what it is that you do? Can you just explain the business opportunity to me? And she about hit the floor. I said, <laughs> like telling me what to do anymore. I want this lifestyle that you've provided for me for four months. Like I got to create this. I got to have something. My friends aren't able to get jobs. I, I need some money for, for say for graduation. Anyway, I need to put some money away. Like I, I need to do something for myself because I'm not going to have anything when you got, when I graduate, like that's it, I'm cut off. And so she wrote on a napkin, the steps to success. 
And I'll never forget it. I wish I had it because I would frame it. Y'all be my, on my wall today because that was powerful. And I'm like, well, what do I do? And she's like, we all ask like, what's next? Because I'd been to rap parties. I knew the product. Like, the, like that was my specialty was the product. She said, you need to have a rap party. So my girlfriend, Jennifer, hosted a party for me. She was super connected in the sorority, lived right down the street from me in Richmond. She had six girls come over. And they all rapped. They all, so they all paid me for product. They all became my customers. And I did that party, invited a friend who ended up joining, became a presidential on my team, okay? Personally enrolled, isn't that crazy? Ended up joining. She came with me to that party. And you know what's crazy? Is these girls could never afford the clothes in my store. They wouldn't even come in. But they came to my, pro my party and they bought product and they were excited about it. And as somebody from a sales background, from a retail background, I was like, whoa, hold the phone. I have something huge here. Like if these are college girls and they're excited, like, anybody's going to be excited. I can sell yeah. this product to anyone. I was like, get out of my way. Like I was hungry. I felt like I had something to prove because that boss fired me and I was so mad. And I was like, I'm going to show her. And you know what I did a couple years later, I went in and bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> because I just could and I was so upset. I was like, I got this, but she, she showed me something she did that for the right reason. And I don't know if she had fired me had I been so pumped up to take ownership of my life. And I think that's what this business really shows us is that we can, we absolutely yeah. can and should have ownership. So that's like my journey. A lot of people wonder like, how did you with all of these years of it works being here, how did you finally decide to go for it? And um, I have to thank my former boss and I have to thank the economy because it, it just propelled me yeah. to realize that, you know, I really needed something more. You know what, Kay, I'm sitting here listening to all of our stories and, you know, we've all heard our stories a number of times, but when you get us together on the phone and we, we start sharing them, you know, it's funny, both of you guys either had tried the product or were using the product prior to coming on board with It Works. You guys out there listening to this call or watching this call? I didn't even put that product on my body. No. I saw the opportunity. I got excited about the money. I wanted money. You know, I wanted the money. I wanted to have some fun. And, the, and, 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 and within that excitement, you hear all the excitement in our stories. And the day I joined, I will never forget, I joined. Martha slapped a rap on me that day. And you guys, I didn't know anything about anything, but I had that wrap on and I went around in Richmond running my errands. And every time I ran into somebody, I would go, have you guys heard of it works? And they go, no. And I said, you know what? I hadn't either. They have this wrap. And I actually lifted my shirt because I was so, not because I was trying to sell the stupid thing. I was just so excited. And then they go, oh my God, what is that? I said, well, look, I don't have any more. I said, this is it. And I'm getting more in. So when I get more in, I'm going to bring you a card and I'll, and we'll get together. We'll wrap. And they go, that'd be great. So I think the point of my story is, is be excited, be excited. And when you're excited, the right people will get excited and want to be part of your business. You do not have to talk anybody into this business. If you have to talk them into it, they may might just not quite be ready. Maybe they should be a, a client like Kay was for a while. Because you never know, you could be signing on your next Ambassador Diamond, your friend, who used the product for a while. So give everybody some time, but really get excited about what you're doing out there. Well, you That's know fun. You know I'm excited. What? Because we have a special guest. We do? Get out of the way. I'm my special hat for y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am freaking out. Chris and I had to surprise you. Oh, damn it. And when I have never, I have never told my story like that. And then you're on to listen. You, I know. I loved it. I loved it. And I, I, I loved hearing Kay talk about that time on the train. You know, it, it's so fun. Uh, Laura is the one that I talk about everybody that we, you know, I've been talking about Laura for a long time because I met Laura again, um, 
Dave room, my big daddy roomed with Laura's bro, uh, brother-in-laws in college. And then, so Tommy and Laura were a little bit younger than we were. Not much, but not we much. And so I always said, Kay, oh my gosh, you want Laura in your business. You really want Laura in your business. Cause she always was just, uh, just so stellar at everything she did. And we were, ran into her in Roanoke. Uh, they were at a 50th birthday party of a friend of ours. And we just told her, we want you in our business. And the next week we <laughs> drove and met her in Richmond, drove three hours. And uh, she sat down and had lunch with us and, and joined. So, you yeah. know, you got to be bold and ask. you got to be bold and ask. And, and I told Kay I wanted to come on tonight. And I knew she was doing this Zoom. And I'm just so proud of my daughter. I just love her so much. And she is just, um, deaf, you know, I, I think she's beyond a mini-me now. She's, if I were that age and had all that she's got going on, I just can't imagine what she's going to be like when, you know, she's my age, you know, 32. So anyway, <laughs> uh, can I wear I, your I, hat when I'm your yeah. age? Yes, hat. on yeah. stage. Yes. To see it. Where right. did you get that thing? I don't want to interrupt y'all too long, but I did want to read you something. You know, I'm an avid reader. I learn, learn, learn all the time, and I'm reading this great book. It's it's by Marianne Williamson. Tears. Oh, to I love her. And, and there's one. There's one. Just gosh, I just hope you all get this. This is my little Christmas message to y'all. Okay, so she states here um, on page 94, she says, the future is programmed in the present. I want you to think about that. Write that down. That's, that's, in, that's invaluable there. The future is programmed in the present. If we enter the present carrying thoughts of the past, we program the future to be just like the past. Mm. Wow. That's wow. awesome. But when we enter the present without the past, we free the future to be unlike it. Miracles occur in the present, interrupting the linear sequence of time. Wow. So, you know, I think about when I went to college, I was very, very shy in uh, high school. Extract, I know that's hard for y'all to believe, but I would turn big red if anybody looked at me. And so I was very, very shy. And then when I went to college, I'm like, it just, I had this epiphany, this profound epiphany that, oh my gosh, nobody knows me here. I, I've got a fresh start. I, I'm just going to be full of personality. I'm not going to turn red anymore. I'm just going to be like, wow, I would be wow, Pam. That's what I'm going to be. And do you know that I just showed up every day like that? So I was, I didn't realize at that time I was programming my future. And so when we get up tomorrow, know that you, do you want to program your future or do you want to reprogram your past? And so when you say things like, I can't get anybody, I can't recruit a customer, you're, you're basing that off maybe what happened yesterday or last month. <clears throat> our year that is that how you want today and tomorrow to be I don't think so I know we don't so let's program our future but we have to do it in our in the present that's why it's called a present it's perfect for Christmas mm -hmm. it's the present time it's right now and so right here right now we can program our future and I'm going to do it I'm going to do it. I've already started writing what that future is like, my story. It, it, it is just huge what this story is going to be for all of us for 2017. So I just want you all to be a part of that. I, I want you to know that we're, we're not, we've got something for you tonight at the call. We've got an, another something awesome for you tonight. We're giving away two more Christmas wishes and then we're going to get drip on you all through the month of December. And we're going to come out of January with a new product. We're going to come out with uh, just everything for you, everything that you want. It, it had been asking for, you're going to be receiving and it's starting right now. So the 1st of January, we're going to come out strong. You need to come out strong and you come out strong by not being lazy through the month of December, by not reprogramming the past through the month of December, but, giving yourself a present every single day by being present and programming your future. And then we're going to head, head into 12017. Phenomenal. You know, <clears throat> we sold out, we sold as many tickets in four hours as it took us a hundred hours last year. 
So don't think people aren't coming. They're coming. They're coming in masses. Our, our store is going to be where our, our conference was last year. So it's like a Walmart size store. So we're going to have gear to take you oh the year. So yeah, bring an extra suitcase. I'm, bringing I'm just packing with any good day. for 2017. Uh, we're going to make an extra car. New, new countries, uh, new products all year, more money than, than not that I can spend because I can spend it. And I love making it everywhere I go. They take it. So let's just all make more, give more. We, we just had the biggest gifts back in this family. And we are so excited about that. I think that charted us a whole new path for 2017, just being able to bless families in so many different ways. And so I just want to say, I love you all so much. Merry Christmas. Happy new year. Listen to what all these leaders have to say to you on the Zoom. They are pouring their hearts out to you. They're pouring their knowledge into you. And you just got to have the faith and the belief in yourself that you are absolutely worth it. I know you are. God knows you are. And my hat has never been <laughs> so, I love you all. Good night, everybody. Bye. Come yeah. on with me later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay, so I thought when you said we have a special guest, now I got to find you guys. I thought it was you. I Yeah, I thought you were cutting Laura off to say she's a spitfire, so I thought she was talking so much. So I, and then not looking at <laughs> that way, but I thought she was like cutting her. No, like I thought you were cutting her off. Like we do have a guest, and I was like, I didn't see your mom. So if my reaction wasn't like, Wah! I was like, I didn't know she was on. That was awesome. Gosh, oh I am so excited. I'm shaking. <laughs> Woo! You guys, what an honor. That was so cool. What wow. a great who's gonna go buy that book? Because I am. Oh, I man. am. Yeah. She's great. I love her. I love Marianne Wade. That's a I love her. Great book. Okay. Great writer. Woo! So, you know me. I like I have back to business. That was amazing. I think that woke up everybody on the Zoom though. My heart is beating so fast. I think I was like Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So stories check. Pam Souter check. Yes. Um Kristen, we have questions we want to answer tonight. Yes. Let's yes. get to it. Okay. You're first. So let's go with our um let me find them. My hands are shaking. That was awesome. Okay. So let's all talk a little bit about, um, we like to kind of get into these questions. These are questions that I took from um, a Black Diamond panel. I don't remember which event it was. But let's start with this. What's one piece of advice you wish you would have known when you started your business? That wow. I had known. You know, I think um, for me right now on my personal journey with this company and the growth that we've had this year, it would be to keep – Keep re dreaming mm -hmm. to keep re visualizing um, what it is that you want because to me, that's what fuels me. As much as it is also like not giving a you know what, what people think, mm -hmm. it's more about, you know, mm -hmm. what's going to get me up out of my house, out of my bed, fired up and excited about my business. It's about what I'm creating through this company. It's about what it works is going to provide. And I've gone through, I mean, it's been eight years for me come this January. So I've gone through, you know, a lot of roadblocks and milestones and growth, personal, just age, time, all of that. And then I was 21 years old when I joined. So <clears> there's <throat> a lot of like change over these years, you know? And it's been redreaming because my life looks so different now. So now that I'm a mom and now that I'm at home with Kennedy, you know, that look, it's so different than being a 21 year old college student projecting your future into graduation. Like that's a, we're talking totally different world. So when I had him, I had to really look at my life and go, now what? Like now this is, this is bigger than big. This is legacy big. This is, my, my future and my son's future really matters here. It's not just about the money that's coming in. It's what can we do with it? How can I show my son 
the, the type of person he can be and how, and, and how can I be a better version of myself to show him that and to show our family and to, you know, so that, that has been like my fuel. It has been so fun to sit down with, with Scott and to do this together and sit down and rebuild our dream board. And what are we really creating and what is this business going to provide for us? So, um, you know, I think we're always taught like dream board, dream board, dream board. And sometimes we like, like I did with my mom, I kind of laughed at that, mm -hmm. but that matters. Like that dream board is your vis visualization of what you're creating every single day in your business. So mm -hmm. do that you guys, and don't be afraid to redream. Don't be afraid to th say, Oh, that might not be what I want now. There's something more that I want now, or there's something different that I want now that matters in your business. And that's, what's going to fire you up to get out and go tell someone about your product and tell someone about your business uh, and see how you can impact their life so that they can have that now, you know, so, so that they can live a life that they're even maybe not even allowing themselves to dream of that it works will provide them the opportunity to see that that's, a possibility in their life because Kristen you know how different is your life now than where it was when you joined you've had to dream and redream and believe in yourself to know that all things are possible mm -hmm. and we have to not care what people think in the process of doing that mm -hmm. yeah absolutely you know, and I think that too, that Kay, something that I always remind myself is it's like your, your goal, your dream board is like your destination. Okay. So that's your destination, but you got to have a map to get there. And our map. frozen app it will try to overcomplicate this like how would I ever get to my to my goals to my dreams and so I love to have that desk you just get in your car and you drive you really don't end up where you want to go right but if you have that destination of where you want to go and use your roadmap of your steps to success you can go anywhere you want with this business anywhere and I agree 100% redreaming is so very very important for sure Laura what about you what's something that you 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 wish you or you could tell the person starting today that maybe you weren't told or you didn't so it didn't sink in or, or what have you you there oh, she's muted. oh hold on i don't know how that happened there you go you know i i think i'm having a i mean i i'm really piggybacking on you guys because i agree i agree with everything both of you have said I think the thing that I should have done more and I'd like to see people do more of is not question so much trust in the process. Mm -hmm. So honestly, if you're brand new or even if you've been in for a while and you're still trying to wrap your brain around this thing, if your sponsor suggests that you go to something or get on a call or they know it's because it's going to make you successful. Those are the things that are going to make you successful. And if you would just trust in that, mm -hmm. you will go so much quicker mm -hmm. than if you try to sit back and figure everything out. Because the best advice I got when I started was learn as you go. Mm -hmm. But in order to learn as you go, and sometimes that's hard to throw your trust into somebody you don't know. I get that. But I tell you, it's the culture that we have in this company. Like, you know, Kristen and I haven't spent a lot of time but I, together, but I would trust her immensely if she guided me in one direction or the other because she's been there. She's done that. So I, I would think, to piggyback on what you guys said, trust the system, have faith in the system, and you guys, I, I, don't make excuses. You know, I jumped off that plane and it had been really easy for me to say, oh, I've got to be in the car for an hour. I just got off the plane. I got to go home and eat. I got to do this. I got to do that. Don't do that. D don't do that. Time does not wait for you, as we all know, you know, so commit. Do those little things. You know, Kay, I can remember when, when um, Tommy would be at a home builder's uh, event for the weekend. And you guys, you're going to think I'm crazy, but this is how bad I wanted it. I would sit at a dinner table with his clients with a pair of ear pods in, one of them in, my phone in my lap, because I was not going to miss a call. Mm -hmm. Because it was that important to me. Mm -hmm. So 
that's that's what I'd say. I love that. I love that. I have so many things rummaging through my brain. Kristen, what's mm-hmm. yours? You know, um, I'm going to kind of flip that a little bit. I agree 100% with you. I feel that if I wouldn't have went to that Seattle boot camp, I probably wouldn't be here today. But I trusted in my enroller. She said, get there. And I did. And it wasn't easy. But it was at that event that I heard, um, you know, a lot of you, I think it was Mike Patillo that said, you know, a lot of you probably are sitting here thinking about having this guilt or thinking about all the things that you sacrificed to be here. And he said, but those are investments. Those are investments into yourself, into your business, into your future. And the second I flipped it of, okay, I'm missing like my son's first day of kindergarten. I, I mean, I was missing really big things. But if I wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't be where I am today. And because of that, I will never miss a thing. I, I can adjust my time to mm. my family. Um, but on the flip side of it, too, the one thing that I wish I would have understood um, in the beginning was, you know, you're, you've probably have all heard this, run with your runners, walk with your walkers, but don't beg people to do this. And I'm a very yellow personality. And so I really want success for everybody. I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to do it because I know what it can do, but you really have to run with your runners, walk with your walkers, but don't beg people to do this because they have to catch the vision. They have to have the fire mm. burning. And you guys, people are going to come into your business for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. You are not going to enroll somebody every single day that's going to be an ace, right? There's 52 cards in the deck, and there may be four aces out of that deck. It may take you 52 enrollments to get your four aces. However, you know, you have to remind yourself that you cannot motivate the people that you enroll. You can only inspire them. In this case, I know your mom says all the time, all you can do is inspire them, inspire them with your actions and them seeing you do the business, you enrolling, you going to meetings, you listening to calls. What you do is what your team is going to do. And so I wish I would have known that because I think I tried really, really, really hard to yes. get, to make people want it and you can't. So that would be my piece of advice. I have to add something, and I know we don't want to stay here too long, but I do have to add something to that. It's an, it is a prime example of that. I had five people in my business. Went Ruby had five people in my business, and you guys, I focused on those five people for six months. Mm. No, don't do that. They're there. They're going to go. They're going to run if they want to run to the next point. Mm-hmm. Our jobs is to go find new people who want change. Mm-hmm. Whatever that change is for them, freedom, time, mm-hmm. financial, whatever that is for them, our job is to go out and find them, get them in, teach them the steps to success, and let them go. Let them run and be there to support them and inspire them. Yeah. You know, just to add really quickly to that, too, something that Chantal Lyons told me a while ago, too, and I remember hearing it, but I didn't really get it. If you have a newborn baby and that baby, you know, after so long should be sleeping through the night, but every time it squawks and cries, you go put a bottle in its mouth, it's going to keep crying throughout the night and you're never going to get to that point of the baby sleeping through the night because you're constantly bottle feeding that baby. But eventually when you let the baby cry it out, it starts sleeping through the night. And so she said, it's the same thing with this business. Sometimes you have to, you know, you, you can't bottle feed them and spoon feed them forever. Take them for their first 30 days, give them everything, you know, everything you've got, answer all their questions. And then you've got to let them go. You've got to let them use their own wings or they're always going to be expecting that bottle to be, to be fed to them. I love that. Gosh, do I know that's true. I have a one. (laughs) child sleeps more than I can imagine. And my mom always said, just throw him in his crib. As soon as you get home from the hospital, throw him in his crib. He needs to be in there. And sure enough, we have, you know, his sleeping patterns are amazing. Um, I have to add something because this came to me. um, And this is, this is, this is huge. You guys never stop doing the things you did to get there. Mm -hmm. Because I think that a lot of people, you get to a certain rank, it could be even executive, it can be Ruby, it can be Emerald, it can be Diamond, all the way up through Ambassador. And then you, it's like you hit this big goal, like you have this huge goal and your goal could be 500 a month. It could be 10,000 a month. It could be 30,000 a month. You get there. And you go, well, now what? Mm-hmm. No, 
You do everything you did that got mm -hmm. you there, but guess what? Your life's just a little bit sweeter now. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit more time. Yeah. Maybe you're able to quit that job because you're now a double diamond making six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month. Maybe, maybe you're maybe you're able your husband's able to come home, or maybe you're able to buy that dream car or that dream house. You don't stop. You keep doing so that's, and so that's why I was saying you keep redreaming, you keep revisualizing because that's going to fuel you. You have to do the things you did to get there. You're still enrolling customers. You're still enrolling distributors. You're still building rubies. You're still building 400 GV legs. You're still popping diamond personally enrolled. You're still doing all those things. So if I were to look back and look at a, a hurdle or a roadblock that I've had in this business. And when I've really grown, it's because I went, Oh, when was the last million? When was the last personally enrolled Ruby I built? Mm -hmm. Oh, when was the last personally enrolled diamond I popped? Mm -hmm. Oh, when, you know, looking at your, your business, like from that perspective, this is a business. Mm -hmm. You have to constantly be checking yourself and asking yourself, this is, um, Joel and Stephanie got on the ambassador page the other day and did a video for us. And Stephanie said, this is the perfect time of year to ask yourself, would you fire you or would you keep yourself on? Oh, wow. If you, wow. If you had to, if you had to look at your business today, if you had to look at your business today and do a reevaluation at the end of the year, would you fire you? <coughs> Or would you keep yourself on? That's awesome. Wow. For raise, or would you not? Mm -hmm. Those are the questions you should be constantly asking yourself because it's about the work that you are doing, not anybody yeah. else. You. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the mindset. Mindset's powerful, right? I love, Kay, that your mom, one day she was on a Zoom. Uh, it was a, a, I don't remember what Zoom it was, but she had said, you know, this business starts with you. And she said, get out a piece of paper, get out a notebook, and write every single thing down that you would love in your next Rockstar Distributor. If you could enroll anybody and have all these qualities, write them all down, okay? And it could be pages, and it should be pages of things. And then go back through and highlight all the things that you are doing yourself. Yeah. That, my friends, is a reality check. And if, wow. if you haven't yeah. done that yet, this is a great opportunity, a great time of the year to reevaluate yourself. And I think that goes hand in hand with what Kay said. Yep. Write down everything you want in that rock star, and then what are you doing? Because what you do is what your team is going to do. Always. I love that. And you know, I tell you, you know, ladies, we all have life happen, right? Life happens. That's, that's normal. That's the norm. It's called life. You know, and I tell you, one thing that I would tell people to do, whether they're brand new or been in a while or whatever the, their, their gig is, is if you have life happening for you, okay, like we all do, you all have to realize that we all do find your happy place with it works mm -hmm. because there's no more positive place to be or put your brain into when you feel like other areas are a little shaky or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. find your happy place with it works mm -hmm. because of the positivity because of the sport the support the growth mm -hmm. the opportunity because if you can put yourself there then you will find whatever's going on in your life will get better quicker mm -hmm. you won't slow down in your business and when you come out on the other side it's going to be so breathtaking and you're going to be so proud of not only your team, but of yourself because you led by the front. You didn't stop when, when life happens. I mean, how many of you guys have nine to fives and some of the things you'll stop your business for with it works, you wouldn't dare stop it for your nine to five. No. You wouldn't dare switch it a little bit. I'm not saying don't show up for work. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is put your heart here. Put your heart here. Open it up and just go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Put some time in your schedule that's non-negotiable. Just like yeah. you put in dentist appointments, you put in doctor's appointments. Those are things that are non-negotiable. So make time in your schedule, whether it's 15 minutes, half an hour, or an hour. 
put a schedule time in your calendar and it's non-negotiable. It's not something you can pass off for something else. It, yeah. You must take that time to work your business. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You know, one thing too, you guys, that I really um, think about often, and I wish, again, I would have known this, is the way you talk to yourself, is that the way you would talk to your child? So for those of you who are thinking, I can't do this, or you question it, or I'm probably going to call this person, but they probably won't answer, or I have this loyal customer that's supposed to enroll, but she probably won't answer. You know, if your kids were taken off for school, would you tell them, you know, you probably shouldn't even study for that test because you probably won't do very good. Like you wouldn't tell your kids that. So watch what you're telling yourself and your mind, because what you feed yourself, what you tell yourself, what's in your mind manifests. And so often we fill ourselves with so much negativity. We fill ourselves with so many, I can't, or I, I can't do that. You wouldn't tell your child that you would make them reach for the stars and dream so big and tell them you can do anything you put your mind to talk to yourself the way you would talk to your child and when you feel yourself being negative think to yourself is this the way I would talk to my kid I, I that once I heard that I was like that was a check for me I was like I'll remember mm -hmm. that. O M G. Mm -hmm. well you would never sit down to your child I mean ask yourself to do this like like Kay and Chris imagine yourself sitting down in front of your child and go you know Sorry, mommy and daddy live like this. I was just too tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you're unable to do X, Y, and Z. I didn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Man, that really, that puts things in perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you would never want to say that to your child. You're doing this to provide a better way for them. Mm -hmm. Right? I, I love that. Yeah. Brings tears to my eyes. Yeah, I think about all the things that my mom has shown me because... There were times in this, and this is stuff y'all, you know, she'll, she'll talk about this, but she doesn't talk about it. There were times when, you know, she, they had to make it works work. That she yeah. didn't go out in the field and do more. She didn't pay herself for three years when they first started, for three oh years. And my dad's going, <laughs> uh, hello, you're gone all the time. Uh, is this going to work? Is there going to be a breaking point? Are we going to have some money coming in? And it's like, she had a vision. She's like, no, I'm going back out. No, I'm going back out. I'm going to do one more party. I had to go do one more meeting. And it just, and then there's not one person that Mark and mom enrolled when it works first started that's still in the business today. But what Did you happened, not one person, not one person, but because of somebody that they enrolled, who enrolled somebody, who enrolled somebody, who enrolled somebody, there was uh, the leg that started Rusty Lackey, Melody McFarland, mm -hmm. Tina Hatcliffe, oh. Reed Kaneller, Susan Wade, that whole leg, because they never gave up. Yeah. What y'all need to realize is there's a whole world out there for you waiting, waiting to hear from you and someone on your team about this product, about this opportunity. And mom's always said, it's sometimes not the person you enroll. It's, it's somebody they enroll or that, mm. that ends up taking on a, 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 a life in this. Mm -hmm. And then boom, you know, here you are a rock star now. And you have an, an, a, an abundance of income coming in. Y'all have to realize that you're worth it your, your time is worth it. Your family is worth it. That what's coming next year is going to blow our minds. 2017, oh. this has been an interesting year. It's an election year. There are a lot of distractions. People were on the media and stuff. With eight years ago, we didn't have the distractions. We didn't have social media like we have today. Now mm -hmm. it was like, get out. Now people are ready. They're ready to make money. They're ready to spend money. They're ready for a new year. They're ready for an, a flow of abundance. They're, they're ready for change. They're excited. And guess what? All that's going to happen. So all the work that you do right now, right now should be your 2017. Right now mm -hmm. is 2017. Yeah. 2017. Yep. Is it when the clock strikes midnight mm -hmm. on New Year's Eve? 2017 starts today. Everything. Yep day matters so i hope that you guys plug in on the corporate call right after this and which we gotta dial in and then i hope that you explode your businesses that you believe that they're worth it and you go for it because whoo it's gonna be a big wild ride and you want to be on the train moving as fast as you can yes.
I already feel a shift. Do you guys? Yeah, I, I do too. Woo! Yeah. I woke up this morning, like I had like fire in my belly. Like I, I couldn't figure out what I was, I couldn't sleep. I got up like at 530. Mm -hmm. It was there. And I, I was having a hard time putting my finger on it. And I just, I just, I got up and I started messaging people. Yep. I love and it. I think and Laura has lost her mind. It's 530 in the morning. <laughs> Kristen, you are a rock star. You are amazing. Thank you for this tonight. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I am I'm just like shocked. This is just awesome. I love it. Honored to have you on. Laura, thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. One thing I like to do is uh, I like to dial into the corporate call on the Zoom. Do you mind if I do that? No. I don't. I'm going to go ahead and jump back, go to the apartment. I'm going to pop off. I'll pop back on. Perfect. I'm dialing in. Thanks, Chase. Why are you just so amazing? Are you okay? Okay. Yeah.
world is unknown to all of us. I mean, I've heard so many stories about how it works in all these communities you're in, how you're touching different people and how much people look up to you and what you're doing. And, you know, we want to continue doing that tonight. And um, we are moved by what many of you have wished for. You've been making wishes and wanting to help others in need. And um, that's how these wishes are going to live on forever, making an impact and helping individuals and organizations whose purpose, whose why is to help others. And tonight is special. We're going to do two wishes tonight. Uh, we didn't do one yesterday so that we could do two tonight. And uh, I think our 12 wishes, I'll check with Mike when he comes on, but I think it ends next Thursday. And um, it's, it's going to be, you know, just outstanding to see and moving to see all these and uh, how they keep on lasting and how we keep taking it to another level. But tonight's special. We're going to do two. And uh, earlier this week, we granted a wish to help the people suffering in the Smoky Mountains from the wildfires. And soon after, we saw a video from Jake Abbott that truly touched us. Jake's wife, Sarah, is a diamond from Wisconsin. And Jake's Christmas wish was to help fallen firefighters. And the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation, to be exact, they honor and remember those who have fallen in the line of duty, but also provide resources for the family and funds for training to avoid future fatalities. And tonight we're granting Jake Abbott his Christmas wish. And it works where we as a, as a team, a corporate team, will be donating to the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. And um, we know this Christmas wish won't just stop tonight. The work this organization does will carry on for years and years to come. And so, Jake, I thank you so much uh, for making this wish. And now your wish is a reality. And we're really excited uh, to make that a reality. And, uh, Mike, our second wish tonight is also really special. Oh, man, it totally is, Mark. And, you know, I think about Jake. Jake, you and your wife, Sarah, you know, Diamond's up there in Wisconsin. We're just so proud of you. We, we can't wait to... To, to make that donation and uh, in your name to the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. And, you know, our second wish, Mark, it, it is very special tonight. And, you know, Pam, I'm going to get to you here in a second because I know you, you're touched by both of these we were talking. And, you know, we, we want to continue tonight the gifts that keep on giving. And our next My Christmas Wish, it's going to a diamond from Nebraska named Aaron Coisters. And Aaron, ho hopefully I said your name right, you know, Coasters, Coisters, Aaron Coisters from Nebraska. And, you know, what was so special about this one, this time of year we talk about dreaming. We talk about putting your dreams down on your dream board. And last year, right about this time, Aaron had put her dream on her dream board. And Aaron's why? It's her daughter, Emily. And Emily has a rare form of dwarfism. And her life expectancy, I mean, you think about this, I and mean, I think about this as a parent, I know Pam and Mark the same way, and all of you listening, her life expectancy was only nine years old, but today Emily's 13 years old. And, you know, they know, Aaron knows that their time with Emily is limited, and they wanted to make sure that more research is done so others can benefit in the future. And on Aaron's dream board, you know, she showed that to us via her My Christmas Wish video, her dream board she created last year before she even knew we were thinking about this. It was for a donation to be made to the Little Giants Foundation for medical research. And, you know, tonight on behalf of Mark and the team, we're going to be making that donation to the Little Giants Foundation in Emily's honor. And uh, we're just so super proud of you, Aaron, for putting that in your dream board and you know, we're going to keep praying for your family and Emily. And tonight we make that donation to the Little Giants Foundation for medical research in Emily's honor. And, you know, Pam, I, you know, you think about Jake, you think about Aaron and Emily, the Fallen Firefighters Association, the Little Giants Foundation, two big wishes being granted tonight on my Christmas wish. I mean, this is just awesome. We get to do this. You know, it is. I, you know, I have two uncles. Uh, they are retired firefighters. And I, I remember uh, living life through them many, many times. And they fought fires most all of their lives. They had many 
lives along the way with also being burned themselves various times. So I know what these firefighters go through in their family. So it's thrilling to me that It Works is giving back to this foundation. And, it, and if I, you know, I went to visit the Little Giants Foundation website, and you'll find that these kids are fighters, and that helping them by giving back will be tremendous as they discover, and this is their whole goal, to discover new therapies and treatments to help these children not only live longer, but give them that quality of life that they deserve. So, Mark, you know, it's hard to keep your composure when we're going through these because I, and this has brought a lot of awareness to me. I didn't know a lot of these foundations even existed, so I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Works once again, our hearts are so big, and they are beating, like you said, even bigger and stronger. So what a blessing to give back. Yes, I agree, Pam. And, you know, it also let us just realize we come to our events, and and uh, I love, you know, we we know to be blessed, you got to bless others. And, and, you know, we've been talking about gratitude, and it makes me realize, I mean, we get together, and, man, our, our black, green, and bling, man, we – we're happy people, and, and uh, we got positive energy. And you know, some people need uh, just to be around that to fill their tank. And and um, but it makes me even hungrier. It makes me hungrier to, um, you know, I know Mike, Pam, and I are making a commitment to push each other more. That we know as we take it works to a whole nother level, that just how much we can affect the world out there. And it made me realize how many hurts are in, in our own team, and uh, how we got to take care of our team, our family. And so um, really proud to be able to make um, both these wishes tonight a reality. So congratulations, Aaron, to you and your family. And Emily, we, we truly wish you a uh, Merry Christmas. These wishes are very special, and we'll be excited to make those donations and, and um, make sure of, of uh, bringing awareness to how important these are, too. Um, so go ahead, if you haven't already, put your wish out there. Uh, I feel like it's not possible to see any more wishes, but if you haven't gave us your wish, uh, make sure you do that. It, it goes through, uh, I think, December 15th, uh, Thursday is our last, uh, will be our 12th wish. And, um, you know, you may have thought it wasn't even possible, and that's why you just haven't wished for it, but you're watching people's wishes come true, and you've seen what's possible this last week, and you see what's possible tonight. And... Um, you know, you see things that just moves you. And, um, you know, I see what moves you. I've seen purpose. And after watching thousands and thousands of my Christmas wish videos, I think we can all see that they make us dream more, believe more, cry more. And, um, you know, let these wishes push you to be better. Let them help you commit and never quit. That's going to be something I'm talking about beginning of this year. You know, when as we go into December, we go into the final week, we're going to talk about dream boards. We're going to talk about, um, you know, what, what's your goals for 2017. And I know resolutions are coming up. But it's amazing how many people make a resolution and they quit on it, you know. And we know the two biggest ones is about your health and um, it's about making money. And uh, let's, let's really make that commitment for us that we're going to help you commit and never quit. And, and it's time to commit. And uh, really knowing what you're going after. And then, you know, we're, that's one thing we do well. It, it works is don't quit. You don't quit on your friends. You don't quit on your family. You don't quit on your dreams. And uh, this is it. Don't stop December. And we've been telling you how you continue building this month, how you end this month, how you end this year is how you'll start 2017. So slowing down at the finish line isn't an option for us. It's time to commit, don't quit, don't even slow down. You know, we talked about that last week. You run through the tape. You see that tape going across the finish line, and you stretch for that finish line, and you just run right through it, run as hard as you can through that finish. And sometimes we put these barriers on ourselves, and they're not real barriers. You know, we say, oh, it's it's December, you know, we're busy, I can't keep building. But I guarantee you this, as you're shopping, as you're out there at, at holiday parties, as you're out there at the kids' activities at school, you're going to be running into a lot of people that have these same needs that we've been seeing on these uh, Christmas wishes. And they're looking. They're looking and praying and hoping that somebody will give them a vehicle that they could make uh, their own wishes come true. And you have that. So run as hard as you can through the finish line. And, uh, Mike, you know we're going to continue giving them reasons never to 
never to quit, but just to keep committing. There's no doubt about that. You know, you mentioned holiday parties. You mentioned shopping. You know, we're going to continue giving you reasons to commit and not quit tonight. We said it's don't stop December. You know, it's don't stop December. It's don't slow down December. It's run through the finish line December. I don't know, Mark. I, I think it's time for a boom to kick off this week. A little bit of a boom and thinking about holiday parties and looking your best. And, you know, we know so many of you, you're, you're going around people this time of year. And some of them, you, you know, let's be candid. Some of them you don't even really want to be around, but you want to look your best. So right now we're going to drop a boom sale like we've never done before with these two products. We're going to have a boom sale. Now this is available in the U S Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. It's available right now through tomorrow, Monday, December 12th at midnight central time. Now, those of you in Europe, stay tuned for your Monday night family call for details on your boom sale. And But here's what's available right now, the U.S., Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Buy wow. a box of facials, get exfoliating peel absolutely free. So boom sale starting right now, buy the facial get exfoliating feel, peel absolutely free. So it's available now. You can go to your website, your e-suite, go to shop, then click boom sale to take advantage of this offer. Again, it's only available through tomorrow, Monday, December 12th, midnight central time. And don't forget, we're just sending out the notification. I just received it. One day only boom sale. If you've not downloaded our newest communication app, Wired, go to apps.itworks.com. And Pam, i tell you what, two of my favorite products, putting on the facial, you know, guys love the facial, Pam. And that exfoliating peel, woo, just feels soft as a baby's butt. <laughs> oh, you mentioned my two favorite, what, some of my favorite things, but two favorite favorite are holiday shopping and parties. So I'm all in, Mike. I am all in. And, you know, I love our boom sales. Yeah, they're quick and they're fun. I and mean, we get right in and let everybody know what we've got and what we're giving away. And so I can't think of a better gift to give away than the exfoliating heel. These are another dynamic duo in our product line. It's really, really exciting because it's going to help us get ready for all those Christmas parties along with New Year's Eve coming up. So go out, have some fun with this over the next 24 hours. And it's Don't Stop December. So remember, this is the last month for that $500 Ruby bonus, and also for the $1,000 Emerald bonus, all the way from Diamond at that $10,000 bonus to Ambassador Diamonds at $75,000 the last month of December. All right, so let's do that. And then tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm so excited. I'll be hosting the Show Me the Money Call with several of our Christmas Wish recipients. So don't miss this call. It's so important. Get some guests on. Let them hear how excited they are to have uh, received these gifts. So anyway. Mark, Mike, it's been an awesome call. Lots of information tonight. Thank you guys so much for being on. Love everything that's going on with that Works. Go out and have a great Christmas holiday over the next couple of weeks. But don't forget about the boom sale. Get those wishes in and listen up tomorrow. We'll be giving away another one. So thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night. Woo! I'm so excited. I just did a peel tonight. Like, it's more of like, right now. hey, it's you want people to come to you. Okay, we're going to come to you. Love you. Love you.